Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to episode 373 of the Joe Button Podcast. How's everybody doing? What's going on? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. You know, this and that. <laughs> <laughs> some of this, some of that. Yeah. Rory, what'd you get into this weekend, man? Not too much. You know, I was hanging. Uh, celebrated my mom's birthday a weekend early, so oh. we were just, you know, hanging, doing the mom thing. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Oh, man. Drink, drinking some cheap Chardonnay. Nice. <laughs> Headache. Out of, out of yeah. a box? Yeah. You know, the typical white mom thing. Yeah. A little oh, spritzer. Man. Yeah. Then I, mm. then I had to- White move. women love spritzers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And at noon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love <laughs> yeah, spritzers. Yeah, yeah. So spritzer, good spritzer? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. you ease into the, the white wine drunk. Yeah. Start with and the spritzer Now they have the noon. white claws and all that, but- Right. Yeah, then I was tricked into moving all this shit out of her basement, and my Sunday stuff. Oh, it sounds it like comes a win. <laughs> sounds like a fucking win. Go Irene. <laughs> Irene. <laughs> How many names? It sounds like a win. Go Irene. <laughs> it was Debbie last week. <laughs> now it's Irene. Shout out to you, creative fans, man. You're back at it. You're back at it. Still shooting. Oh my god, man! Push your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Push your teeth. Teeth good. grizzly. Yeah. I like that one as well. Veneer Nelson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Veneer Nelson is funny. You had NLE Champa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A tribe called Crest. <laughs> Rim. Yeah. I didn't even know Rim was here. Cre- Crest Love. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Grill Scott, Grilly the Kid. Yeah. I like it. Teeth like Rocka. It. Yeah. Yo, a tribe called Crest. Oh, no, man. I like it. Wrote Let down, the greatest man. great, man. That's hilarious. West Side Gum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy Hustle. <laughs> I like it. Let the creators get their shit off. Man. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Get your shit off. All, all this is funny, uh, man. Someone called you Grill Cosby. <laughs> OJ the Tooth Man. Uh, uh, a tribe called Crest is hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. So shout out to you guys, uh, creative creatives of the week. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, Kim Kardashian is going to try her best to free C murder, which would be amazing. She tweets free Corey Miller with the hashtag. On January 18th, 2002, a tragedy occurred when a young man was killed. The next day, Corey Miller was arrested for the murder. The jury convicted Corey 10 to 2, and he was sentenced and sentenced him to life in prison. If this trial was today, the jury would have had to be unanimous for him to be convicted. Since his trial, witnesses have recanted. New evidence of his potential innocence has come to light. And there are claims of jurors being pressured into voting to convict. True justice for the young man requires that the person who actually killed him be held responsible. And that Corey Miller be returned home to his family and children. That's true. That is what Kim Kardashian says. Uh, She apparently has had a few talks with Monica leading up to this phone call with the three of them, C. Murder, Monica, and Kim K. Uh, I want to shout her out for her effort. I hope they they achieve this. I hope they get Mac out, too. His his case sounded real sketchy, too. Someone got shot at one of his shows. He was on stage. Mm -hmm. He pulled out a gun, but it wasn't the gun that shot the guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rest in peace to that gentleman, by the way. Yeah. But because he was violent in his raps, they sent him to jail, essentially, for murder. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I commend Kim. I, I hope this does work out. Me too. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully. Monica mm-hmm. says, you've always been the most thorough and reliable human ever. So many believe in you and stand with you. You sacrificed it all for those you love. Let's see it come back to you. See murder free Corey Miller. How is Shannon Brown feeling today? It's <laughs> my question to you guys. <laughs> Think he's feeling a little pressure? I'm asking y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I don't know why you tried to tie Shannon Brown into this, bro. Okay. Um, I don't I don't think he cares about shit like this. I think he's moved on. Mm. I think he's moved on. Mm. And you know, this was before him, so true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Can't get mad about that type of shit. Nah. Monica didn't mm. move on. I don't have anything to say because I'm afraid of Monica and C. Me too. I definitely. Yeah. But. I support both of them fully. Don't profess your love for the love of your life after we dated. 
and say like, how, how reliable whoever he was wh- through the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, let me they just can't, can't let me just that? make myself clear. No. Nah. After me, you have to have a new love of your life. Like, yeah. you can't be a nigga that was in the bag already. <laughs> yeah. Talk about what I sacrificed for you. No, thanks. I think I've, I've talked about that here, too. What uh, some of those arguments are like when uh, she says, oh, that's just a childhood friend. <laughs> yeah, the broski. I mean, childhood. Broski. You're 19. <laughs> <laughs> when, when was your childhood? <laughs> <laughs> you when start, was your childhood? Start doing some math. All right, yeah. if you're 19, high school, yeah, man, it sucks when you can't pry her away from the love of her life. That's all. That's that's my only takeaway. And well, when she can't even like really see him, he's been in jail and you couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, what a connection. <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt love. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all years ago, plan to fight in your house. Guys trip to Brazil, we out. And y'all still ain't done it. Let's go. Y'all ain't trying to hit Nah, they're not doing that. They, not, they gotta come back. Look, home. they don't. They, <laughs> I know, they gotta come back. Joe, no, they do it. No, don't. don't have to. <laughs> no, you many, really don't. You know how many niggas probably fake got that off? You don't have to go back home. The guys trip to Brazil, it still can happen. Mm. Well, I don't know if they'll let us in. That's oh. Americans. I'd do oh. Colombia before I do Brazil. He ain't even research it. Any other time, he pull out his little Google. Oh, yeah, right. title says John McElroy <laughs> produced this. John McElroy. <laughs> now he just. Oh, it looks like we won't be able to get into Brazil. <laughs> he did it. You didn't pull, pull up title. You didn't pull up the map. Man, yeah, there's yeah. like two countries that'll let us in there. Parks, yeah. I don't know what's um, on a map. <laughs> First of all, you believe that? What? What's on a map? Uh, you believe the white people just saying, "All right, this is here." Uh, I think it's been proven that oh, the fuck maps are correct. Yeah. You can kind of see like the pictures. Uh, yeah, flat, oh. flat Earth theory. Oh, now please. the chicks is really gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, like, look, the ground is flat. Yeah, there you go. that's all you need to know. <laughs> Just nine months ago, they said, "All right, Puerto Rico's with us." They they freestyling this shit. <laughs> what you mean? No, Puerto Rico's always been with us. <laughs> well, nah, no, not always. <laughs> I mean, for at least what? Look, you don't know I the map either. Fifty years or something. I, yeah, I've like never, as long as I've been alive. The niggas just waking Rico. up, changing their mind. All right, we got Hawaii. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> for that fucking freestyle. I don't believe a word they're saying. All right, come on. Where we at? <laughs> when are we uh, have freestyled K-K. Hawaii? This <laughs> shit <laughs> been a state. <laughs> What's the two states they? I added? don't understand the Puerto Rican thing. Sometimes they're like, "Yo, they come on, give like it a to district. me." District, and then other times it's like, "Nah, they ain't with us." <laughs> a district. <laughs> Yo, yo, we fuck with them a little yo, bit. Like, all niggas, are, all, all, all we want to know is, yo, we need our passport yeah, to go. Yeah, that's exactly or nah. That's all you no, need to know. No, we don't. Yo, all right, so in your defense, I went to Hawaii. Wait, hold on. Let brought, me... And I brought my passport to the airport, and my mom looked at me like, I have failed you as a mother. I was like, what? I thought she needs It's a state, Rory. Why would you need a passport? I can't believe you've been to the airport with your mom. <laughs> 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 That's not funny. <laughs> Where the fuck? Yo, why is that funny? I'm trying to think if I've ever been there. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever been there. All right, well, y- y- y'all brokies need to fly your mom somewhere. That's what y'all need to do. True. I've been, I've been, need, no, need to be some better son. Oh, I know and, why Joe's laughing. Him and his mom had a little, oh, mom, I told you, 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Hit Boy tweeted, and I want to ask you guys. He said, I have made a million dollars from selling beats in 2020. Is it clout chasing if I say that? No. No. But so. it is. Like people, yes, it is. People uh, posting their stats. Is- That's clout chasing. No. Uh, yes, it no. Is. It's, I mean, if, I've if never you, been if you one. Achieved to- the clout. <laughs> it's yeah. not really chasing the clout at that point. You yeah. are chasing the clout. No, he got, no, he got the clout. <laughs> he caught it. No, I disagree. It's not clout chasing. It's just information that you probably wouldn't say to the public. If you say it, you're clout chasing. What would he be I chasing? Think, uh, clout. See, but he caught the clout. But he has clout. He, he, right? has, he has it. No, he doesn't. All right, well, you're huh? mistaken if you think Hip Boy does not have the definition of what the kids have deemed a clout. You don't have clout if you have to say... I made a million dollars selling beats last year. Because why are you saying it? What is the purpose of you saying it? You've already been recognized by your peers as one of the best in the, best in the bunch. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you're not at a shortage for work. 
mm-hmm. and fans acknowledge you. So you are saying this for what? All right, well, let me ask you this, Joe. It's clout chasing. You even- it's to get clout from the people who do not know that I already have the clout, which is what the rest of the clout chasers do. Now, see, I, I, I'm different on that. I think clout chasing is when you do stupid shit and silly shit just for a moment of just to have a moment. Yeah, but you need to widen your yeah, perception of what a clout. Both no, of you. No, I then think need, clout chasing then, is that. It's like it's, I know, and I'm saying I think you both should broaden your perception of what clout chasing is. That's one version of is. it. Mm. That's one way to go about it. Hey, I don't have any talent, so I'm just doing a bunch of stupid shit for clout. Cool. But people with talent can clout chase. No, absolutely. There's absolutely. people actually. And that's not what we, we can't. What was saying at all? No, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> My point is that there's people that are on top five Billboard that are doing things that are clout chasing. No, absolutely. Absolutely. So it don't matter. But I don't think what Hit Boy. Of yeah, clout chasing. I don't think I what Hit Boy did was definition. clout chasing. Like he's saying, yo, I made a million dollars in off beats in 2020. My, my definition of clout case, chasing every, is every rap. Or marketing or rollout could be cloud chasing, right? <laughs> Which it, it may be. <laughs> a, yeah. a lot of them. I, a lot of that, them yeah, are you, today. Oh, see, no, 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 Joe, you got to change what you said because that's not. See, that's a whole different statement. Oh, right, let's change it. He says, "If I told you I sold a million dollars worth of beats in 2020 without cloud chasing once, would that be cloud chasing?" No. Yes. <laughs> no. Hell no. No. I disagree. I don't think that's so. it. I guess he maybe said, I don't know the full definition of cloud chasing. Uh, I think Hit Boy here is suggesting that you can sell a million dollars worth of beats in 2020 without compromising and doing goofy shit. Right, exactly. That's what he's saying here. I agree. Told I know you, what chasing looks like. But you do know a figure of speech as well, right? Like, what if I told you, if I told you is a figure of speech when you say a hypothetical I think situation. him even worded like that is cloud chasing. No. I don't. I think he's saying you don't have to be a goof and yeah. do shit that would compromise your morals but you can to say make that. money in 2020. But he didn't say that. I think the it's po- a tweet, man. <laughs> I think the point of <laughs> It's a fucking tweet. Go on, move Jesus on. Jesus Christ, Let's move on. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just asking. We disagree. We disagree. <laughs> Solved, finally. Two men charged in long, unsolved killing of Run DMC's Jam Master J. Yeah, rest in peace, Jam Master J. 18 long years. His 2002 murder. Uh, just find me the names. One of the suspects apparently was already in uh, custody, federal custody. Yeah. yeah. And they brought in another one of the suspects. And as some people had suspected, these were people that were allegedly close to him. Yeah. Really unfortunate. Yeah, very much so. Glad that this wasn't just forgotten by the wayside. Mm-hmm. Carl yeah. Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington. At a press conference, the acting U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of New York said Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington had been charged with murder and Mizell's death. Ducharm didn't go into the details about what led to the charges, but said today we begin to answer that question. (coughs) Okay, great. So hopefully more will be revealed here. And this is a victory. And it appears. This is a win. From Mm -hmm. what I heard, they're talking, the people that were arrested. So, yeah, this is more details will definitely be revealed of a story that a lot of us was common knowledge. So this this case is going to get deeper. Yeah. Just forewarning on this S- one. Sad story. Very much so. They always said that they felt like it was somebody close to them, though. Yeah. That was always the, any documentary you saw on it or any reports on it was that people felt like it was somebody, just the way it went down in the studio, the right. time, it was somebody that was close to them. So this is a, uh, it's still, un- still unfortunate because we lost a legend, but, you know, for the family, hopefully they have some closure. Yeah. And it's a uh, tragedy. Look at Scream Man. Firm Biz back. He was hyped. He was hyped. Wait, he commented? Biz. Yeah, look, right above Nori. Wait. <laughs> what a fucking loser. <laughs> Wait, where? Who comments on a Nas oh, IG shit. photo? <laughs> Yo, that, yeah, yo let me just tell y'all, back. that is a thing with me. I know we're joking around. It is a thing with me when I see people I know comment where they should not be commenting. Oh, absolutely. That's Sc- why Scream my man, what are you doing? Same for everybody. What are you doing? <laughs> what did, don't, I don't even want to hear you, but what are you doing? You was hyped, you was hyped for the firm biz? 
Don't do that again. I'm a little hype for the firm bit too, but not that hype. <laughs> not to leave a comment. Parks, Parks yeah. I'm not comment with the question mark and explanation point oh, yeah, at the no. same time. Firm excited. Back. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what that is. <laughs> no, but let's get to the album. Though. Let's get to the track list. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're turning pink yeah. together. <laughs> like they, 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 they pink in the face. Hilarious, yeah. even. You, bro, you started Oh, this man, modern, modern day Chappelle, Rory is. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Joe, start the hate. You start it. I don't want to hear this shit. You don't now, your turn. <laughs> Make it uncomfortable, Joe. <laughs> now, there, I, there, you, there, put it, you put it eloquently. You want the safe answer from me? Yeah. I think it's really dope that the legends are reaching down to the, the new kings okay. and collaborating with them, putting them up on that pedestal. Right. Got you. Yeah, instead That's of, the tell, bonus instead of telling too. the next generation, like, nah, we need to work together. I want to hear the, uh, the Blue Benz record, though. And uh, why? I want to hear what him and uh, Lil Durk did. I'm excited about the firm record. Well, obviously, that we don't got to. That, that's uh, a. Yeah. All right, let's not everyone deflect. That's our error. In the kitchen of about five minutes ago, the little Dirk record was up for debate. Hmm. I like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I've made myself perfectly clear that I didn't say anything about Dirk. Okay. Of course not. I want to hear the Dirk thing. I don't know if I want to hear the Don Tolliver Big Sean song that I know was probably already done and then Nas hopped on it and it became a Nas song. Just my prediction. Not running to that record. It's a reasonable prediction. I don't like Nas going hear, out like this, man. Uh, what are you talking? I want to hear Nas and Anderson Pack. Me too. I that love that the firm good. is back together, even though they reversed it, and now Nature isn't in the firm, and Cormega is back in the firm. They could have had them all on there. Probably. They could have had Nature in that, man. I see why you don't invite us to the cool kickbacks. <laughs> what are you talking about? They went from third base to the, <laughs> the, 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 the Nature and Cormega reversal of roles. Well, that's a good point. I'm chasing the fine girls out there. <laughs> Wait, now nah, I'm telling you, it's about the to fine girls, about the fine to turn girls up. Don Tolliver, about to turn up. But also, it, it, this this Friday in your phones, it is an interesting mix of um, features, though. Very rarely can a feature list turn me away from a project, and that's what this is doing. Like, if I'd have never seen these features, then I would be fine. And. This take is not specific to Nas as far as him collaborating with the younger generation. There are some people that that may work for. I personally hated it when Jay-Z was doing it. Like, I hate when the greats seem like they're doing it. I don't know that they're doing it. But, yeah, there was a small second where I'm like, I don't want to hear Hove with a future flow. Okay. I don't want to hear Nas with Don Tolliver. I don't. There's just better. I don't want to hear Nas with Anderson Pack, Lil Dirk. You wouldn't want to hear Nas and Anderson Pack. I could see that. I could see that's, that. That's yeah. a Anderson Pack doesn't really seem weird at all. Dude. Yeah. It, do, like it doesn't seem weird, but there's for me huge potential for it to miss. I can True. see the younger, younger people like Don Tolliver, but even there's young people that make well, music in the uh, uh, realm of Nas <laughs> that mm-hmm. would maybe make more sense mm-hmm. I guess and, and when it's you say the, nice the Hove thing I know what you're saying because there was a few times where Hove was getting with the younger people and it was like alright this just feels weird but and I know you hate Cuddy but like on Blueprint 3 when I saw Cuddy on there I was like Ugh, I don't know if I wanted to hear Hove and Cuddy and it, he went into Hove's world mm-hmm. he didn't go into Cuddy's world so there's a that can happen on this album like you could have a Don Tolliver hook that sounds like some Nas shit doesn't necessarily mean Well this will be the first album I'm listening to Thursday night Friday morning Absolutely Is there anything else Coming out on Friday Well if we get a Nas album On Friday That means we get something From the Carters On Saturday right (laughs) It's 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 history Thursday (laughs) (laughs) Thursday Thursday morning Oh shit (laughs) y'all Look what be The leftovers Been working on some Me B (laughs) Yay The dream Frank (laughs) The leftovers. Sir, Dream, Dream Sir Carter has an EP. Yeah. <laughs> Just crying over some beats. <clears throat> Yo, they better not put nothing out when yeah. Nas come out. Want to do the the, the Sci-Hi, Sci-Hi is writing Travis Scott's biggest hits topic? Sure. Is that news? I yes, was yes, music snob. No, I didn't think that was a music yes. snob thing. I some thought... people out there have no idea what you're talking about. Travis Scott, the biggest, one of the biggest artists in the world. Mm. A yeah. Ghost Rider? Never. He didn't write Sicko Mode? Yeah, you have to explain that to people, Roy. 
Don't just act like everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, Saha, didn't Saha write um? I thought Saha came mean? out and told us all. His okay. name is on Mad Credits on the album, so I mean it's not a secret or a surprise. I don't know why when the net put something in like a, a caption or a meme, then we have to discuss it like it's new news. Yeah, this was no. Why was is known this new right? news? Because we didn't know he, we didn't hear the reference track before. Because people don't read credits because they're not really available on anywhere, and casual fans just don't care. That too. And then people started trying to defend their love for Travis as if you needed to. I mean, I don't even really view Travis as a rapper. I see him more as like a like a producer. Uh, so this they is love to get in this bag. is right in line with he's just producing. So yeah, I mean, they love to doesn't really change bag. my view of him. And I'm like, fam, you can like whoever you want to like without qualification. Right. True. I don't know why that was a big thing. And just like explain music, it to me. Music Somebody. that sounds good. <laughs> Sai has got a lot of publishing out there, and in the world. it's a I'll lot of it's a lot of a lot of dope rappers that people like. They have people helping them in in the studio, absolutely writing shit. Well, no, I just think it speaks to everybody Sai has that somebody he's helping. But I mean, or an, an actual reference record. track, I guess, is where it gets fuzzy for people yeah. because the worlds clash. And in my <laughs> opinion, these worlds should never clash. I've had this topic. Uh, I've discussed this in depth here before. The world of casual single fan versus really am a fan of this person organically and they don't really have mainstream success but I'm a fan of them mm -hmm. so this is where those worlds collide and the mainstream people are saying wait a minute Sahai who the fuck is Sahai like and if he can do that for him why can't he do it for himself that's what they that's always go to weird, uh, that's such a weird debate is there any cre credence to that I understand I, why people say it it's like no. if you write some of the biggest records of the year and then you're an artist yourself and your album you don't really have a lot of Records that chart, I can see how the casual fan would be like. Well, what's the difference? Uh, it's a huge difference. No, I know that like, the casual fan doesn't know that. All right, so we'll go. Look, we can go with the Quentin Drake thing because that was the biggest one when they, when all those references leaked. Like, mm -hmm. Grant, I'm not gonna say I thought the energy beat was fire, but let's start with bigger artists have access to better producers mm -hmm. and more resources and doper shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also. Those artists are big because they know how to deliver records. Like if you heard that Quentin reference, yeah, Sounds it didn't terrible. sound that good. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. And then you heard Drake's version. It's like, okay, that's someone that knows how to deliver a verse. Right. Like he has presence on this record. His voice is familiar. Mm -hmm. I'm grabbed in right away when he starts rapping. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those types of artists look for people that are good at writing because they know they can deliver it better than most people. Absolutely. And then there's also people like, like Sahai. If Sahai did the the sicko mode verse. Travis is delivering that type of verse on that type of beat better than Sahai High would. Sahai probably also just doesn't want like to make of, that record. I don't like any of that True. example that Rory just used. Because that could be kind of common where you have an unknown, super talented person that is now contributing to the megastar's creative process. Mm -hmm. And maybe we won't credit that person. We're not paying that person. We'll keep him in the tuck. Which, by the way, is a different part of the brain when writing. What? I think Sahai and Quentin Miller would approach a record having the mind state that this is for this artist rather than themselves and mm -hmm. their music. Oh yeah, I'm only saying I don't like it because of the no name helping the megastar versus this is someone who we know, someone who has a career. I think that's where the uh, blurred line comes in that we were just talking about with Maul where people say, how can this person do that for this person and not themselves? Because you're familiar with this person, mm -hmm. and this person's been around for ages, but they haven't seen that type of su success that they're able to give somebody else. My take on it is, like we were just talking about, the rapping is the smallest part of the hit. Yeah. It's the likability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the image. Mm -hmm. It's the the, the, the... the familiar voice, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the being voice. a part of a the team brand. with a marketing plan, you know, whether it's a label or a, a crew or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a big advantage over someone that may be just freelancing, you know, putting out records solo, but still writing for other people. The shocker is that Sahai can probably give Travis nine more sicko modes in a matter of hours. Oh, yeah. for sure. Because a gifted pen like that can with someone out. who has that likability already... Quentin could have gave Drake a few more of those yeah. energies. Like normally, when you see these pairings, they're they're a pair for a reason. Yeah, yeah. And, and to Travis and Drake's credit, can find those pens and find what works the best out of that. Like Saha, we know could rap for four hours straight. Producers, I'm not saying specifically. I know that this is what happened in that studio, but producers like Travis Scott and artists like Drake can find those little parts and those little things that they know will work for actual hit records with people that have really good pens. 
Yeah. And not only that, a lot of times it's uh it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And a lot of, Most uh, of the time. you know, a, an artist like Travis, a lot of his shit is his style. And how they mix his vocals, uh, his ad libs, yeah. how he says certain shit. So I think that a lot of times, you know, these artists, like an artist like Drake, he would pull from somebody like Quentin who is up on the new slang or up on new terms and how to say shit cool. But then when you give it to Drake, he just says it better. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's, 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 I don't really like get upset when I hear rappers have people helping them or writing with them anymore. Right. Because I understand like now it's artists are forced to produce at such a high level, high volume, like an artist like Drake. I would expect <laughs> him to have some people in the studio yeah. helping him produce a song. Yeah. And it would depend on the artist. Like if you heard that Jadakiss had a ghostwriter, it would be fucking painful to right. stomach. But right. Travis Scott is like a, he's a pop star. Frank Ocean is a wild, a wild boy. What Frank did? <laughs> I don't know. He called some nigga a tornado. When <laughs> did that happen? Yo, Joe is a fucking idiot. I swear to God. He didn't call some <laughs> What do you think he was talking about? <laughs> he wasn't calling. Oh, you're nigga. talking about on uh, thinking about you? This nigga is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took me a second. Yes, it did. Joe, it. Frank is a wild boy. Man. What happened, Joe? A tornado a flew around my room. <laughs> Excuse the mess it made. Yeah. Joe, All right, forget right. it, forget Joe's it, forget it. Idiot. Forget it, forget it, forget Jim. it. Son mouth game was crazy. Yep. <laughs> you don't hear Rory though. Son's mouth game was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all are sick. Yo, his nickname is Tornado. That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. <laughs> you know the motions. I ain't even met a chick named Tornado. <laughs> They could never put another song out after NATO came through. <laughs> NATO. <laughs> Would one of you guys like to explain one of the strangest things all of us had ever seen in our lives? So five minutes ago, I come in wearing some pants that maybe my lip balm is falling out of my pocket into the vehicle and in, in the car. Yeah, I'm a he sucker a for that. Yeah, I love. Zippers. I'm a sucker for jeans with the zippers. But you could have kept boots with the fur. The zipper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's definitely um, efficient. So I didn't have any lip balm. I asked the room full of however many men are present right now, hey, anybody have any lip balm? And nobody really said anything. I'm like, fuck, a room full of useless men. The screen man stands up. He goes in his pocket, pulls out the the the, the blue lip balm thing that's at Walgreens the and class, CBS. The class, the container. The container. You know, not, you know the, the one. You know the one. He throws it to me. Well, what Wait, does the it logo say? is brushed off. <laughs> that should have told him something. He throws it to me. I open it up thinking I've, what gotten, year you bought I've, that? I've gotten to a savior. That's a good question. And he gives me a completely empty thing of lip balm. And now all of us are amazed because we've never seen this thing empty before. I didn't even know they had a bottom. You lose, you lose that shit after to the, the five, to the people. After five uses. <laughs> oh, come on. After five uses, that shit is Garoppa, Joe. Well, hold on. Okay. You got the... Huh? Look at the... Yeah, get the that, logo get that is too. <laughs> get that logo. The logo has always been perfect. Facts. I've never seen this shit. That scraped might that over. might be where uh, that might be where COVID started because you definitely had that before the quarantine. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and right. we was the quarantine in March. It's a so, scream man. Well, COVID. He had that shit before many men. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> you talking about before the COVID? That's from O three. Word. <laughs> you wrote that's been logo. passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, he lost the cap. The, the logo yeah. off the cap is crazy. That was his grandfather's. Damn. For real. <laughs> New Nas album. Nas. Hit boy, yeah. How we feeling? Did you hear it? I'm assuming everyone here heard it. Mm -hmm. Who do we want to hear from? Come on, who's coming in hot? We coming in hot? We coming in hot? Who gonna set it off? Me to set, set it, it off? Huh? I love it. Hey! I love it, man. I, I love it, man. This was a pleasant surprise. I gotta be honest. This to me, this is his best sounding project. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like this is one of his projects that to me I can has it has a lot of replay value to me. Interesting. And I even like the ultra black in the in the form. Love of it. The, it's of, it of sounded the much it sounded much better coming after Car eighty five. Yeah. I said that last week though. I felt like it was an album yeah. cut. Yeah. That's why I don't Not think that single. the legacy acts don't need to release records before the album. Just put the album out. I agree. Fuck that. How did it sound when you was in the Q forty five? I wish I was. Um, <laughs> Charlie Wilson. Uh, I know Joe. You was kind of mad at the Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver killed that hook. Listen, 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 listen. 
I wanted. I just want to wait for you to finish. Don't, oh no, don't, I'm just. I'm just looking at the track on, list. Don't speak on nothing. Don't no, no, speak no, no, on no, nothing. Not, I said. No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm that. Stupid. I, no, no. It's okay. But it's. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't know. This is a good thing. Know. We gotta. We gotta become as men become comfortable with admitting when we were wrong. I'm so, here to be held yeah. accountable. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with men saying, "Yo, boy, I boy, do I love this type of wrong." Yeah, I do. I love this type of wrong. Yeah. I can't tell y'all just how wrong I was because I don't even go back and listen to when I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, y'all yeah. do that shit. No, of course, no, go back no, and hear no. when I was wrong. Uh, I deleted. Man, I don't even remember. I ain't never even said that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, you know what? I'm gonna take your word for. It. I was probably, I was probably wrong. Yeah, you was yeah. tripping. You was tripping. Uh, a bit. But last week, whatever was said, I was wrong on all of the accounts. Everything that I said. Yeah. All of it. Salute to Nas. Salute, salute to Queens. Ultra Black sounds amazing. In scheme of the album, it does. Yeah, it, does. Fit, yeah. it fits perfect. It's right? perfect. Yeah, it and the content kind of does a good job of covering what you're talking about in the whole album. Yeah, mm-hmm. and when that happened, boy, did I feel stupid. Mm-hmm. I said, "Man, that's what the song is supposed to do." Yeah. Right. So I cannot like the song, but understand where he was coming from. In the, in the scheme of the album, that song is a pleasure to fucking hear. Not only did Nas deliver. Hit Boy did an amazing. I let's, think he did an amazing let's job. Let's talk there. about Nas first because we do All have right, to so talk let's, about let's, Hit Boy. Let's stay on Nas. Yeah. Every one of these features killed. Yeah, killed. Made sense. Oh my God, little Durkio. Yeah, <laughs> I love, I, Dirk, oh, Dirk did his thing. Why yeah. wasn't it forty more bars from Dirk? <laughs> I actually wanted like a verse verse from Dirk. Yeah, yeah. That's how much I liked his hook and what. Nas was talking about with the Chicago made shit sense. and everything going on. Went, it made, made total sense. Yeah. No, he went I crazy. wanted Dirk to go off. That yeah. was my only complaint from that from that song. Yeah. I like what I was what I was clearly way off about is I like hearing Nas with the new guys when it's done right. Sure. Yeah. I love them with, with Don young. Tolliver, the Anderson Pack song. I love yeah, that, we knew that, that was gonna that be one have been of fine. Yeah. Yeah. Anderson and Nas belong together no yeah. matter what. I love the all the is. features. I like the album a lot. I like the album a lot. It, it makes me proud to come in here and say, boy, you were way off base in this. And I like Lovey Dovey Nas. Hmm. <laughs> no, he's good with the relationship records. Always has been. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's always been his bag. Yeah, but yeah. they were always scattered. It was always a scattered bag. I don't think. In the past was there few ever, years. Was there ever an more... album where it, there was Lovey Dovey Nas on a few joints, life like more good. than four? Life is good. Yeah. Well, li- Life is Good was talking about past bad relationships. In a good space Yeah okay If that makes sense It wasn't lovey dovey It's like alright I've accepted How shitty that relationship was And I'm cool Yeah right. I'm growing I'm yeah. growing He got into the He made the firm Get into the relationship bad <laughs> Yo he addressed, That was the one thing That, that was weird me to me though Yeah I didn't, I didn't know That, they, I that was, was the content it. Of the firm I, didn't, I thought they was Going to give us like Some movie shit Some cinematic shit Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. some real Like you know That type of shit nah, But kinda, I'm not mad at it They all got off But Yo, they what, did it In a cinematic way Yeah they got off But to that point was crazy. I saw a mega tweet today that he hadn't heard their verses until today. Together? Yeah. Okay. yeah no, I hadn't crazy. heard their verses, period, what they were going to talk about. Like, Mega just got in that bag, AZ just got in that bag, and Nas got in that bag. Yeah, it sounded like... Uh, I knew they weren't in the studio together when they did it, because you could hear it when Foxy came in. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, everyone's just sounded different. a little different. Yeah. Uh, Foxy, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little off, but even Fox got off. But no, I, I like to hear... Um, AZ and Mega especially just because we don't hear from them as much uh, in that more mature bag. Yeah. I did need Nature on this. I did. Yeah. I think Nature yeah. would have killed this. If Nature came in after Cormega on this, I'm finished. I was stuck for a little while trying to figure out why AZ is still as nice as this. Uh, I'll be the one to even say. With he had, the girl, he had, he had even, the best verse on this firm shit. Oh, oh, hot he might have had the best hot verse take, on the album. Hot take there, Rory. He might have had the best no verse on the album. It. He did. No, I didn't see anyone talking about it. So, I know we're happy to hear from the firm, but it's still hip hop, so we have to argue about who had the best verse. No, AZ we don't. sounds incredible. Yeah, it was Az. Yeah, yeah, yeah he sounds good. He sounds. But A has one of those flows that's timeless, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he doesn't have a flow that's kind of weird, and you have to adjust your ears to. Like he has a flow that you get as soon as you hear him. It's just all about the content and what he's talking about. But he delivered. I think. I think all of the features delivered. Uh, Hit boy again, man. Uh, I yeah, probably owe him an apology uh, as well. I'm super pleased with this. Um, and once you get a Charlie I, I, Wilson ooh wee, your album is done. <laughs> <laughs> you get a Charlie Wilson ooh wee on a, on a, on the album, like I your album is done. I like a good balance from the legacy acts of nostalgic, looking back at shit, but also current where you are in your life. Right. And I think 
Nas hit that perfect balance in between those two. I can try, Hit Boy. I don't know the answer. I didn't talk to him prior. Hit him. But we'll try. We'll give him some flowers today. Because we was going to curse him out if it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's busy. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't realize. No, I don't know. Cop it, please. Once you call, day, day of release. Once you call. Hey, boy. What's the deal? This is Rory from the Joe Button Podcast. You were live on well, air. I see your number pop up. Man. I already know what's, what's the deal. <laughs> what's going on, bro? How's uh how's the release date? How's it feel? Man, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling amazing, man. It's been a lot of love. A lot of motherfuckers been tapping in, man. Showing respect, so you know I feel good. Well, that's what we're here to do. That's why we called you. Hey, boy, why you did that, man? <laughs> what you mean? What I do? <laughs> no, nah, listen, listen, man. I, I, I feel like I already had an immense amount of respect on your name, like I was saying before, before Rory called you. But it's a different bag to be able to get with one legacy act and really produce an album. Mm-hmm. And you showed nah, your I, ass. You showed this nah, is this is you, great, bro. man. It's a real responsibility. Like, I just, I just knew I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas was going to press play on me. So I'm like, I know they going to be on my head if I get this nigga some weak shit. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I got to go crazy. Yeah, because I hated that Kanye and Nas project. So you really, like, I think you did what he maybe set out to do before and didn't accomplish, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Like, as far as even, like, with the Nasir shit, you could just tell it was some kind of, a disconnect. disconnect yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I felt. Like we, man, bro, we both was just on the humble. Like, bro was pulling up Dolo, nigga. It would just be me and him. I'm the engineer. I'm recording, bro. Like, mm, that's important. Going through beats, like it was just a real organic way. Like, it was nothing forced about it. How did How did the connection start between the two? Man, of you? we actually, bro, we actually linked first, like way back in like 2013 when I was on a little run. I had a lot of shit going. He just pulled up. I'm talking about like 11 in the morning. Nigga, we sipping hands, smoking, just kicking and playing joints. And we didn't end up even doing shit back then. Then one of my homies, uh, my nigga Double from Rialto, and it's just like one of my OGs. Like he, uh, he was fucking with Nas on some other business shit. And he was like, I, I had seen him in the studio. They posted a video in the store. I'm like, bro, if you don't get this man over here, you're bugging. So he told him uh, to pull up, and like the next day, Nas came through, and we just, man, bro, from the first day, I could just tell we was gelling on a different level. Do you think that your question the other day was clout chasing? You funny as hell for that. But no, (laughs) honestly, I did it on purpose, bro, because I'm like, look, I'm posting all this shit about how I'm executive producing a Nas project, doing all this shit, nigga, I get low to no likes and retweets but I put mm. up some stupid ass shit and then I got everybody talking about it so I just mm. know how niggas mind works these days so I know I'm putting the work in I know I'm you know what I'm saying that was literally just some bullshit no listen you trust me your work speaks loudly and clearly to the people Respect, that know what's man. going on, man. Y'all, I'm super happy for y'all. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm proud, proud of you, you happy, boy. Man. You, you, you killed rats. this shit. You might have single handedly deaded the Nas picks bad beats oh, theory. Yeah. Right. That's over. That's, That's over. Right. It's I'm over now. Yeah, nah, let's keep that energy it's going. Hit boy, we love you, man. Thank you, man. Man, much love. Respect to y'all. Definitely. Peace. Who wants to lead with this topic? You know, my cape is on. Then I'll lead. <laughs> okay. I think. Hove was chilling in the crib with B. Right. Scrolled through his phone, seen a Nas release that he was unprepared for. <laughs> Caught him off guard a little bit. Hey, yeah. yeah. boy, why didn't you tell me? I was unprepared. <laughs> I thought, hey, hit boy, I thought Hit Boy was my Hey, my listen. <laughs> hey, shout out to the first and last time listeners. For some of y'all, listen, I am not authorized to talk on any of the shit that I'm talking on. (laughs) (laughs) But it works. It's okay. It works. Listen, Hove was scrolling, seen a Nas release that he was unprepared for Mm -hmm. called Guru Up. Hey, right. what you got in there? <laughs> hey, what, what you, you got in there? What, what you got in the cupboard? Hey, what, you, <laughs> what you got sitting in the cupboard? Hey, what you got in there that we can step on this bull? <laughs> step on this bullshit. I'll with. take. I'll take hey, anything. Hey, hey, Guru's like, listen, man, I've been working with Rhapsody. I listen, yeah. I don't really have none for you. I was like, fuck, man. Yeah. Called up Pharrell. Hey, man. What we did? What we, what we did recently? Pharrell said, "Oh, we got that shit about Black Lives." <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Put it out. 
Yeah. Put it out. And they put it out. After Ultra Black, might I add. Right. Fam. Somebody <laughs> make keep it on brand. Let me make myself clear to the subscribers here. Mm. Pharrell is a great black. <laughs> what? A great black what? He's just a great black, period. Okay. Great black in fashion, great black in creating, great black in producing music, he's great black he's and he's he's a great Pharrell, black. Pharrell's a legend. Yeah. Absolutely. In every sense of the word. I don't know what Pharrell was doing with this one. We have to get him authorization again to Marvin Gaye's catalog. <laughs> <laughs> No, he didn't have it last time. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what no, no, it's clear. No, 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 no. This song is clear. It's clear as day that we don't have access to sexual healing anymore. <laughs> that's odd. That's Look at niggas pussy. That's Look at everybody being pussy. Look at everybody being pussy. No. What's up? No. What's up? No. What's up? No. It's What's nine up? left. There's the no more checks. You want us to yellow? Nigga, risk it. You want no, to yellow? What's, uh, What's going on? That's one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay. I'm with you on that. Somebody get Pharrell after the dance. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but is this going to be one of those when we hear it in the, in the, in the, in the sequence man, of the album? Are we going to nah, like it? Man, I never want to nah. hear this bullshit again. What the fuck is Pharrell whispering about? <laughs> Somebody tell me. The he's Maul always, or Rory? He always whispers on his oh, whisper. I'm done with Maul now. Rockefeller Maul. Mosey O'Donnell he whispers, over here. He whispers I'm on his done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with Mosey O'Donnell. He whispers on all his Rory, you answer for it. You're going to be recanting all this when he do a pull-up with you. You know that. Of course. Yeah, like, you're a great guy. I don't understand what he's going with there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not talking. He might be. Ten years from now, Parks will be like, yo, I didn't even understand this song. I get it now. Pharrell might be a great guy. I just can't. I can't tolerate hooks where you Pharrell just say the same Pharrell shit. could be a great guy. No, he is. I want the listeners to know I have no relationship with. I'm, I'm only discussing music. music. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And just this fine. song and just was this one song. Inside. This song was some bullshit. Come on, say it with He's me a, in unison. Yeah. Come on, oh, on three. I no, I'll say it with you. On three, for sure. One, yeah. two, 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 three. Two, two, two. This song was some bullshit. Come on, boy, you didn't say it. Nah, you, you jumped in at the end. You jumped in at the end. Come on, let's say it. <sighs> it's a wrap, man. Who's, it's over. Who's leading? <laughs> it's over. Me? It's, uh, you're going to have to get Chicks Tape 6 emailed to you. Yeah, I got, it's over, bro. I got to delete that out of the uh, phone. Slow for that. Uh, sorry, Tori. Time to go, buddy. The game has started now. Yeah. It has begun. We were waiting for uh, Meg to say, Tori shot me. Mm-hmm. And yesterday was the first time that Meg said on Instagram Live, Tori shot me. Mm-hmm. And the whole internet paused. It's happening now. She said it. <clears throat> Not only did she say it, but this is a black woman that got on Insta Live with no makeup, no lashes. I'm going to assume those eyebrows weren't done and a hoodie. Take from that what you will. <laughs> I took something from it. (laughs) She got out of her comfort zone in bed in a hoodie and not done up to tell y'all, all "All right, enough is enough now. Yeah. I've been taking some heat and I've been seeing some backlash from me trying to go about this and trying to go about my life in a normal fashion, dancing, chilling, just trying to move on from that really traumatic experience. And y'all are killing me for it. So let me just tell y'all what happened. He shot me. <laughs> yeah. And she suggested that his publicists were going to the blogs to make it seem like Tory might be the victim. Maybe she was hitting Tory and he was defending himself. Uh, listen, 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 listen. Oh, let's play some. Let's play some of this. Southside. It ain't like a. Oh, let me go run and tell my business to the mo- internet. Let me go run and tell my business to the police. Like you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been that type of person. Like. But I'm not gonna let y'all keep playing in my face. And I'm not gonna let y'all keep playing in my face either. So, since y'all whole so worry about it, mm-hmm. yes, this Corey shot me. No, oh, there it is. You shot me. <laughs> that the game And has you got begun. your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying. That's true. Stop lying. That's true. Uh, she went on. There's, there's more. I don't know if I need to play the rest. We kind of get a gist of no, we what don't. happened, yeah, what don't was said. Yeah. 
what um, was done. And, and she said when uh, the cops did come and everyone got detained, uh, she was treated like shit in the precinct. She still did not tell the police anything. She said, hey, I'm leaking out of my foot. Why the fuck? What y'all want from me? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, and was still there to protect everybody that was in that car and did not say a word and continued about her day the best she could with a gunshot wound. Yeah, she she said that she was fearful that the cops would, you know, uh, shoot them or assault them, uh, being that they're black people with a gun in the car, which is completely valid and terrifying. Yeah. Sorry, Tori. No, no, it's not sorry, Tori. No, I mean, true. It's, um, it is what it is. Fuck him. And fuck any nigga that think that they can shoot any woman. Like, I was raised, you know, there's no women, no children. Period. Hmm. So any nigga, you're not a man, I'm not going to call you a man, any nigga... Any clown, any sucker that pulls a gun on a female for any reason, if she's not holding a gun to you and threatening your life, there's no reason for you to ever pull no gun on a woman, period. Let, let alone pull a trigger. So all of this back and forth, like, I knew what Meg was doing when it came out. Everybody, why she ain't say he shot? I knew what it was about. Hmm. She comes from real niggas. Hmm. Don't say nothing. Don't talk to the police. Don't say nothing. So she went on here and said it. Okay, cool. That's for the blogs. Everybody's happy. She finally verbally said, he shot me. Right. Fine. It is what it is. But niggas like that, you, you a sucker. He's the king sucker. He's worse than that other nigga with the colorful hair. Mm. He's, the, he's the biggest sucker in the industry. Facts. And any nigga running around and trying to ride with him and do music with him, you a clown too. Facts. I'm tired of niggas trying to run around here and act like they don't want to say what it is. It's real nigga shit. Period. I agree with everything you just said, but it's deeper than that for me. And it's not deeper than that. There's a lot more to un. I don't think she's. Lying. Ain't no woman gonna lie about no man shooting her, bro. For me, right. the therapist tells me to be fact based, so I don't know the answer to what you're asking me. Listen, man, I don't know what ain't I no, do. She what this I girl do ain't know, gonna get on here and lie about that. She just I'm, she has nothing to, to gain from this. Let me make it clear that <clears throat> I'm not saying that that's what's happening. No, I'm not saying you. I'm just saying. In, 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 but when you respond that way to me, it may give the impression no, that no, that's no, no, what no, I'm no. saying. And I'm here to make myself perfectly clear. And I'm also not here to hold punches today because this is some of the oddest shit that we have ever seen in hip hop. Yeah. This is one of those stories. Odd, strange, weird, unfortunate. Sick. Sick. Nasty and disgusting. Yeah. I start there. I follow that with there's, and I'm only speaking for me right now. There's a lot of shit going on on the internet after Meg's Insta Live. Some of it I won't even waste time dignifying. Mm. There's been a large conversation about whether Meg the Stallion is a snitch or not. I wish those people you're would an, shut the you're, fuck up. You're, you're, you're idiots. Why even and this is why the internet needs adults. Mm. Shut the fuck up. You're stupid kids. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. The end. I'm not going to waste brain power there. Please. Two things are factual for me. There was an incident and there is a victim. The end. As far as particulars, we don't know. Maybe because it's not time for us to know. But Meg the Stallion is a victim here. And I stand with her and support her. And it is now up to Tory Lanez to disprove what she is saying for me. That's where it is for me. Listen, this is the last week of teeth jokes. This is it. This is it. We've done it for two episodes. I wanted to put a, a fork in this the last episode. But some of these are pretty good, man. You guys called me... Uh, Black Thought from the Roots Canal. Mm. <laughs> it's funny. Rim. <laughs> I didn't even know Rim was it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh, uh, Suge Bite. Mm. Choosy Vert. Lil Choosy Vert. Rick mm. Floss. Mm. Rick Floss is funny. Mm. Teeth Murray. <laughs> uh, James St. Plactrick. Okay. Uh, Gums and Roses. Robert Venero. Robert, Robert Venero. Robert is good. It's pretty funny. You guys are good. Uh, Most Breath. Okay. <laughs> most breath is pretty. Usually, rim, I'd say that was a reach, rim. but that was. That was I like most breath. Yeah, most breath is uh, it was different. It was a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one was a reach, but I fuck with it. Wu Fang Clan. Okay. Wu Fang mm-hmm. Clan. Um, Andre T Thousand. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a reach. Uh, Bryson Filler. Uh, <laughs> rim. Uh, toothpaste fiasco. <laughs> that's fucking funny. That's, good. Now, that's fucking funny. That's, really good. that's funny. That's some funny shit right there. 
Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, two pasty. Yeah. Uh, Joe Rule. Joe Rule. Yeah, Joe Rule. <laughs> Your rule, and I, I think that was that was the end uh, of it. You guys are let wins. the creators create, man. Yeah, uh, enough now. <laughs> uh, uh, enough of creating. Stop creating. Enough of creating. <laughs> Because when y'all keep being funny, y'all y'all send invitations to the people that aren't so funny. Yeah, and, that's and, the and then that's they the join in yeah, and they try to participate. It's like, fam, you're not funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not funny. Rest in peace, DJ Shea. Before this broadcast goes any further, absolutely. Yes, yeah. yes. prayers to Benny. West Conway, Armani. Can't, yeah. can't imagine the what Kai, whole BSF, Buffalo, whole Griselda. Yeah. yeah, man. I cannot imagine what these gentlemen may be going through, Benny, especially because I looked him in the eye and, and saw the joy, admiration, and adoration that he spoke about his relationship with DJ Shea. Yeah. yeah. And all that DJ Shea contributed to mm-hmm. his career and his ascension. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and I've seen that echoed by a lot of artists, uh, even outside of the Griselda camp. I mean, yeah. People yeah. are affiliated, but mm-hmm. pe- musicians and uh, <clears throat> people in general from the upstate hip hop scene. Yeah, and I also want to say I saw the look in DJ Shea's eyes when Benny was speaking of him. Yeah, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. that had to feel good to hear before you're transitioning. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um, and I also want to speak to you, gentlemen, about about someone transitioning from is this from COVID? Yeah. Health, uh, health uh, complications? Yeah, sure. Because we'll, we'll never know when it's uh, <clears throat> COVID proper right. but health complications. Um, right. And he was just here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In, in this room. Yeah. A few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Hasn't even been a month. Right. Just when, you know, the few times I hung around him was a great guy but when I started reading everything and, and what he did for Buffalo and the legacy that he had and Griselda kind of being under him like he was their OG. Yeah, I think before he passed seeing how Griselda is now being revered and all the work he put in in a city that was ne- neglected for so long from, from a hip-hop perspective mm-hmm. uh, and shit, even an economic perspective, everything perspective with what Buffalo means yeah i think that's amazing that he got to see at least all the work he put in was now coming to fruition to some degree Mm -hmm. and and getting the recognition for what he worked for and just the good the good dude that he was like outside of griselda music shit anyone you talk to griselda wise now they're just good dudes like outside of that shit they're just good people they move around right everything they do is correct I think that reflects him being their OG. Like, I think that's doper than the music shit. You mm. can't say bad shit about the people that came up under him. Mm. They're good people. Yeah. So fuck good music. They're good human beings. Yeah, I think um, in life, sometimes things happen. And, um, you know, you never really understand it. Like, when you lose people close to you, and we understand that we all have our day to go. But, you you know, you never want to see it happen uh, so sudden and... You just seen the person, and then the next day they're no longer here. So you know, it leaves you with a lot of emotions and feelings. But I think when you look at it, you know, like Nip said, it's, it's the marathon. And, you know, DJ Shea, he, he, he held the baton, and he ran as far as he was supposed to go. And he now passed it on to Griselda, to Benny, to Wes. To, mm-hmm. It's just sad because, you know, you start seeing things that they, you know they talked about. And they spoke yeah. about it and they dreamed of and they had plans of doing, you know. And all of a sudden that comes to an end. But the important thing is to always remember the conversations, those intimate moments. Um, and just keep them keep them in your in your mind and your heart. And he's he's still here. He's still with you. Absolutely. You know, yeah, well DJ still he's still here. He's still and thank here. Thank you, mm-hmm. DJ Shea. For, yeah, absolutely. For all your work. DJ absolutely. Shea. Gone but not forgotten. Prayers to his friends, family, loved ones, and their friends, family, and loved ones. Mm. Uh, my heart is with Buffalo My heart is with y'all man My heart is with y'all Being that For he sure. was just here I know yeah. that might hit the psyche a little different yeah. mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And all the artists that he, he worked with and, and helped and embraced and Keep those, yeah. those words close man Keep those right. words, keep his words close and, his... and get to it Yeah. And, and, and get to it All of the work that Shay put in the, vi- the vision that he had Go harder. Y'all carry it out Y'all keep the memory alive man and we with you. We with you no matter what. Rest in peace, DJ Shea. All right, this gentleman is going to call back, but I'm going I'm to get to the bottom of this punch and scissor we, we stuff. We need to get down to that. 
I'm going to get uh, to the bottom of this punch and scissor stuff. Don't worry about it, y'all. That was punch? Yeah, it was punch, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying to get to the bottom of it for the fans, man. Sure, you know, sure, sure. Sure, we want some new scissor music, man. I do. Seems, seems to be a hold up over there. I don't know. They were attacking punch. His feelings were hurt. I mean, the last time this rollout existed, we got a classic album. Facts. So, yeah, punch. <laughs> hold out, bro. And SZA, <laughs> SZA, SZA uh, t- tweeted about it, right? She yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she said, yo, stop tweeting punch. You have nothing to do with nothing. Me and him always fight. My shit have come when it come. Get off my dick. Okay, I like Jer- that. Jersey's said, finest. Jersey's finest. Then True. said, "God, I like it. God, will let it happen. God, will let the album happen." Yeah. Oh yeah, I love mm. when artists go to God. So you know, you know, a classic is somewhere, somewhere <laughs> born. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this is Joe Button from the Joe Button Podcast. Punch, how you doing, man? What's going on, brother? Listen, I saw that they were attacking you and hurting your feelings. I love you and care about you. I, all I wanted to do was make sure you was good. I just want to make Man, sure I'm, I know how the fans can get. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm better today. They lighting up on me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, listen. I was feeling bad for you, but I know that's what you 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 y'all TDE niggas. Y'all will create some commotion, and it'll be the greatest marketing plan ever. So <laughs> I, I won't pressure you into telling me when this album is coming. But what? Hey, what happened to that big uh, song dump that Scissor was talking about? Do you remember that? When she said, I got a whole bunch of songs. I might do a song dump that has nothing to do with my album. That was like a month ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that um, off the table? Uh, Soon. Coming soon. Ah, okay. Punch is good, Like man. you said, no, you're not going to get nothing from Punch. <laughs> See, no, you're not going to get yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. something yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't call him Punch yeah. for, no, yeah. for no reason, man. <laughs> punch, why are you holding that woman's album? Man. Why are you holding that finished product from us? <laughs> I know it's right, crazy, like, too. I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna make no money if it don't. If it don't go out. I hear that shit. Like I don't. <laughs> it's crazy though. The fans so passionate. Like I get it. Like she said some things that you know really move people and touch people's lives. So I understand the the, the passion. But relax. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, only TDE gets away with telling the fans to relax when they're waiting on a release date. And I don't understand how y'all are allowed to do it. Not well, only gets away with that, says, when I see y'all at the meet and greet, I'm going to remember your face. This guy's <laughs> crazy, man. That's a talent punch. I got to give it to you. Hey, man, I'll be having fun, man. You got to get it. Like, we, we, like, I'm from the projects. Like, all this is like a plus. Right. Love yeah. It. Yeah. Listen, I respect you too much to try to get any inside information on the Kendrick album. I'll just leave it alone. <laughs> you're, yeah, yeah, that's, coming, that's, you're, that's you're, coming soon, too. Yeah, I know. You heard Drake and Dirk, though, right? You know what? I haven't even heard it yet. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> punch, punch. I bet we're punch. not doing that. We're not doing that. All right, you know what? We're not doing that. Hey, hey punch. We're not doing hey, that. Hey, punch, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're not doing hey, that. Hey, what, 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 what? Your YouTube down? Oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Yeah, I know we're not doing that. We're not doing hey, that. Hey, your phone is dead? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Today was my music day. I listened to the Nas earlier. Ah, listened to the Nas. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Nah, we got it. We got it. I know. Well, Punch, we appreciate you. We're huge fans. Yes, love Punch. And we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. No doubt. Man, I appreciate y'all. Oh, shit. I I fucking pressed the wrong button like Lex. Damn. We love Punch, man. No, yeah. He didn't hear that fucker. Come on, man. Yeah, of course not. No. <laughs> he didn't hear it. It was hard to find that record. It was. Yeah, it yeah. was. The algorithms yeah. were totally, You had to really search for it. They yeah. were totally scrambled. That yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were hacked. Yeah, yeah the algorithms. They, was hacked. they got, got hacked. Too, Come yeah. on, man. You know they got hacked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yo, y'all are awesome, man. Thank y'all for listening. And until the next time. It's theirs. I bid you adieu. Catch up Hasta on P-Valley by Wednesday. Adios. Oh, I'm going to finish. I started Oh, I got to catch up. I got to see what Cliff and them did. Yeah. Because Uncle, uh, not Uncle Murder, mm-hmm. Lil Murder. You about to, you about to spoil. I ain't even thought of it. I ain't even heard Uncle Murder song since Lil Murder came out. Honestly. <laughs> if you, if you don't get Uncle Murder it. started, man. He going yeah. yeah. to take that serious. Murder has something lined up tonight. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I don't know if you guys were paying any attention. Uh, uh, violence and Drugs only uh, pieced it up with Tiri. Vado, yes. Did you see last night's uh, episode? I have not. They pieced it up. Okay. He wrote a rap apologizing. Oh, that's a good way to do it. How many bars? Uh, it's probably about twelve. Oh, you got all a, twelve. You got, got one hundred and seventy-five with Tahiri. I, I, I got him beat. I don't know how she left me. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got to do more than twelve. I'm joking, by the way. Uh, sort of. <laughs> Psych your mind. No. Psych your mind. No. It's not sort of part. Psych your mind. <laughs> Right, it's only it's sort of when I talk about my old chicks, right? Not well, you, you did give her 120 you, right? bars. That's all psych I'm saying. Man, the fuck out of you here. You did say psych your mind in 22. <laughs> <laughs> Suit your melon. 
<laughs> She's my muse. It's like, <laughs> right. Yo, close, oh. close it out. Close it. <laughs> trust me. Trust me on this. Just close it. Bro. Just close no, it. No, we out of here, man. Right. Hey, uh, peace out. <laughs> yeah. New, 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 Joe Biden.